welcome back to week three of 52 Reason and Record Tips. I'm James Bernard. In this week's episode, we're going to cover a little bit more in depth on how to create a wobble style bass sound. This time we're going to show how to use the Thor step sequencer to control the LFO or wobble speed in a combinator patch. Since there's going to be a lot of routing and patching going on, my head is going to disappear for a little bit, like this. We're going to use the patch we created last week as a starting point, and if you don't have it yet, you can download it here using this link. Last week I showed you how to assign knob 1 on the combinator to change the rate of LFO2 in the second Thor, which is what we are using to create the wobble sound. Now let's use the step sequencer on the second Thor to turn that knob for us. What I'm trying to achieve is that every time I play a note, the wobble speed changes. First, let's set up the step sequencer to control knob 1. Turn the knob counterclockwise so it is at the slowest wobble speed. Flip the rack around by hitting tab and route the Curve 1 CV out of the step sequencer to the knob 1 CV input of the combinator. Turn the value all the way up to 127. In the modulation matrix of the second Thor, set one of the sources as MIDI gate under the MIDI key at the bottom of the list and the destinations as step sequencer trig. Set the run mode to step and the amount of steps to four. We're going to keep the sequence short so we can edit it quickly. Select curve one as the knob edit source in the step sequencer and set the values for the four knobs as follows. Curve knob 1, 99. Curve knob 2, 86. Curve knob 3, 45. And curve knob 4, 71. Now play some notes on your controller keyboard, or hit F4 on your QWERTY keyboard, and play the QWERTY keyboard if you have record. See how the sequencer advances steps each time you press and release a note? Notice that if you play legato, it does not change steps. You will want to make sure that there are gaps in the notes that you play or program for this to function in that way. If you would like to assign a specific wobble speed to a knob, just play the note and change the value of that knob that has the LED lit up and you can hear the speed change. The pattern direction is set forward by default, but if you want to make things interesting, set it to random. Play some notes now and see what happens. Alright, now for some more fun. Last week I mentioned how we could maybe use the wobble control to change more about the sound than just filter cutoff or volume. What if we were to use a wavetable oscillator as the source in the Thors, and use the wobble to control the position in the wavetable. That would be fun. All right, let's try that. A little more routing and tweaking to do now. To do this, select wavetable as the oscillator type for oscillator one and two on both Thor and Thor two, which I've labeled left and right respectively in this patch. Set the table select to PPG 13 strong HM and turn the position knob all the way to the left for each oscillator. Now go to the modulation matrix on the right hand side of Thor 1 and select the source as CV1 with an amount of 100, destination 1 to OSC1 POS, amount to 100, and destination 2 to OSC POS2. Repeat this for Thor number 2. Press the LPF BPF button on the combinator so that it is illuminated and turn the cutoff knob so that it is a value of 52. Play some notes. 
Cool, isn't it? One last thing. Notice how all the sub bass disappeared? Okay, let's fix that. Go to Thor 1 and press the OSC 3 to Filter 2 Enable button, which is right here, and the Filter 2 to Amplifier Enable button, which is right here. Repeat this process for Thor 2. Now play some notes. Ah, there is the sub. Since we selected a bandpass filter to get a more extreme effect, the subtones were filtered out. By routing them through filter 2, we are bypassing the bandpass filter and just hearing the sub in all of its raw, unfiltered glory. Okay, now that you've seen how I've created this patch, try experimenting with it a bit and come up with your own twist on how to use wobble control to change the sound. Maybe use an FM pair oscillator and use the wobble to control the FM amount. If you had any trouble at all following along with what I did here, I've uploaded both of the patches to this link. Feel free to send me an email if you have any questions, and please send me some suggestions for topics that you'd like me to cover in future episodes. You can send it to this email address below. Thanks a lot, I'm James Bernard, and I'll see you next week.